Afternoon guys, hope you're well. We've got mics on either side. I think it's just our usual media. I can't see any survey media, so we'll take questions as we always do. Uh, please indicate your like to ask a question and we'll come to as many of you as we can. Somewhere to start, please. Right here, James. Hi, Pep. Um, I wonder if this season going into the Champions League feels a little bit different for you. you you've been under pressure, maybe not internally, but you've been under pressure since you've been here to win the Champions League. Mm. Do you feel the same amount of pressure? And of course, only Real Madrid have successfully defended the title. So, so what kind of a challenge is that to you? Every season, you know, good morning to everyone. Um, every season we start the... Uh, the competition in the first game, always the target is win the, the first one, qualify for the group stage for the last 16 and try to win the Champions League. Nothing changed for before when we didn't win it on this season that we won it last season. So nothing changed. It's no more than right to start tomorrow. And it depends on our performance and our level will happen. So we have to, of course, we are incredibly happy to defend uh, this crown. Uh, but this competition don't allow you much mistake the success we had in group of stages because at home never miss one shot except the year against Lyon the first game always we were so strong at home make nine points to nine and when that happens just winning one game away you are qualified so and tomorrow is uh, the first step and hopefully we can convince the players seriously always we have done it no matter the opponent and try to get the first three points Max. Hi Pep, um, Ferran Soriano said last week he feels more relaxed now you've won the Champions League. Oh. Is that Ferran Soriano said he feels more relaxed now you've he won feels. the Champions League? Yeah, so yeah that, that's good. Is important, that is the play well? the players, the important is the player doesn't feel relaxed. So the board and the chairman and the CEOs are relaxed, that's good. They don't play, they don't score tomorrow goal Ferran. So we have to be... So a part of that I would, like, I would like to say something. So for our club to win the Champions League is something incredible incredible but in perspective for the Champions League so how many teams won one Champions League just one a lot but there is a lot won two a lot won three a lot won four a lot won five there is one team won a lot a lot a lot so in perspective of the Champions League we didn't do anything special it just won so but but for us of course if so the club didn't have it and be part of that is incredible proud of I know it's a long time off, Pep, but have you noticed the finals at Wembley? You've won it there as a player and as a manager. No, I did, we didn't think, we didn't think about that. So, so uh, and I, like I said before, so uh, James, so, so win the first one, and after we happen. So when when you have to to think about the finals, when you are in qualifying semi-finals, after you can to think about it. But in the first game, in in this month, so it's long time, still long, 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 long time. Hi, Pat. Will it be harder to defend it than it was to win it for the first time, the Champions League? No, easier. The most difficult win, the first one. The first one. Always we win, but it's something incredible for us, the first time in this history. But it just won, so let's go. Let's try to win tomorrow and... A team like is so aggressive, so fast up front. Uh, we... So yesterday in this morning, and yeah, you have to interpret it or read perfectly the game we have to play. Do you think back to that night in June at all? Have you ever since, or have you wiped it from your memory and move on? Uh, the, do you, Do you think back to June at all? Do you ever sit at home and, and think back to that night in Istanbul? In Istanbul, no, I didn't watch a game, and no, 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 no at all. Uh, all I say. It look what happened in you know the team we beat. So in, in Italian league, the derby won five one. Uh, I, I had the feeling that moment. I had the feeling right now that it was incredible strong team, and they proved it. And it was a tight tight game. And this time the coin came came for us. But uh, the feeling I had before now prove again how Inter the Milan is oh, a strong team. And it's a candidate to be there again. And of course, I like to beat the good teams and, and the final was there, but I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. Um, um, even if you didn't watch it, do you still remember uh, Edison's saves that yeah. night, how important they were to you? 
I have a lot of memories in this competition, how many times Edison had good save and when the opponents have a good saves. So there are many, many things that, of course, Eddie was a, a key point, a really, really key point. And he, um, he was important again at the weekend against West Ham. Yeah, Does it definitely. feel like his, his shot stopping has improved? Or has yeah, he's like, mature, it's, uh, he's getting, getting better. So we had a team that normally in average we didn't concede much. And I had the feeling when the opener arrived, he's there. So the first save against one, against one, against Antonio. The moment Antonio made the last touch a little bit longer, he was there. And especially the corner. With World Pros, always is a is incredible threat. And with Zuma, with uh, all the people, the tall, incredible, you know, headers. So make a, yeah, I would say that the moment was 1 1. And we make 60 or 70 shots in the first half against West Ham is quite impressive. But these details make the difference, and and Ederson was was there again. Benny, uh, Pep, it's obviously four games in eleven days that you're facing now as well. So how is the squad looking, and how is the injury front at the minute? I'm thinking, obviously, Kovacic, John Stones, and, and Jack Grealish. How close are they to being available to play? Well, I think it's getting, they are getting better. I think they are not for tomorrow. Hopefully. For Nottingham or next coming games, like do we need it? Because we have not the long squad in that moment, but it's what it is. So look how we prove without, without them at the last game. So hopefully they come back soon because we need the competition. We need, uh, you know, Jack to compete with, uh, with, uh, with Jeremy Doku and how important is both feeling how to play good to maintaining the, you know, to be in the squad. Otherwise, it's difficult to sustain for a long time without that. But it's what it is. In the seasons happen, many teams happen, and yeah, we accept it. I just wanted to ask about Kyle as well because we're going to speak to him in a moment. There's a feeling that he's reaching his higher level in terms of performance as he uh, as he has done throughout his whole career. Yeah, what levels are you seeing from? Since I think one for the preseason, every training session is more focused than ever. Is and yeah, he proved it uh, again. Always he can do better. But uh, the terms of consistency is not easy because play 90 minutes, 90 minutes against England, and after come here, play 90 minutes, and so demanding game against all the wingers from 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 West Ham are so fast and quick, and and yeah, he responded really well. Hopefully, he can continue, and the moment we can give them space, time to rest, we're going to give him. Amen. Hi, Pep. Um, you just mentioned Jeremy Doku there. How impressed have you been with how he's, he's settled in since he arrived? No, I said, so we played really well, and especially we had the ability the winger. When you are in the wingers, like we try to do, have and go to the fullback, and he dribbles, it's a chance. So sometimes you go to the wingers, go back, go back, have to do it, but they have a winger, have go and attack fullback, even a fullback and support for the winger, the opponent. And I dribble to you, go to my line, it's a chance. And how many times has done it? A lot, not just one, a lot. That's why I said I was impressed because we knew his quality, but I didn't expect it and I had the ability to do this and, and do it very well. So, you know, I had the feeling as attacking midfield and Erling, Julian in the field. So I had the ball against the fullback. I said, okay, I'm going to close to the box because this guy is going to dribble and going to cross has to be there. This is a incredible threat. And that's why I said, as a winger, it was a long time I didn't uh, see a performance like a winger dribble, not once, not twice. A lot of times, his fullback and and his and another, you know, fullback and and be dribble. So it's not going to happen every week. I understand, but always you talk. You have this quality, isn't it? You have the quality to do it. Yes, go try, do it. Whatever happen. Sure. Hi, Pep. Uh, Albel from Sport Five Israel. Um, you have a match tomorrow against the Red uh, Star Belgrade, and I was wondering, what do you know about their trainer, Barak Bachar? He's a big fan of yours. Yeah. What do you know about him? Well, I saw last season, it was in Maccabi Haifa, uh, play a group, difficult one, Juventus, Benfica, PSG. And, and what I saw, because we saw a little bit, my staff analyzed what he has done with Maccabi Haifa against that teams, against against Mbappé, Messi and, and, and Neymar, for example. And uh, we were really impressed, the courage, the bravery, you know, to play against them. You know, it doesn't matter what happened. And we guess tomorrow, we think tomorrow is going to be quite, quite uh, similar. So I'm happy that again is in this competition. Looking forward to say hi tomorrow.
last two in English, guys, and we do have one from Serbia, please. Brad? Hi, Pep. Uh, in life, sometimes repetition is not as nice as doing it for the first time. Is this a big challenge in football to remember that? Okay, let's go with again. Well, I said before, so in the first season we arrived here and in Monaco in last 16 qualifying we were out, we tried to win the Champions League. So nothing changed for the first season, the other one. Now the people say now, okay, now like we, we won it and now it's uh, done. It's not done, so that it's done. We we're happy, we we're happy that day. Now we, we every time we see in the here in CFA, yesterday we took a picture of the team with the four trophies there and see the Champions League in front of you. Make you feel so happy. Yeah, we cannot deny it, but yeah, it's done. If you want to live for the memories, I will not be here. I will be at home on some beach. So once we are here, we play against West Ham. Yeah, have to do it, you know. We play against final European Cup, Super Cup against Sevilla, and three days later against Newcastle. So it's not the visual situation, lack of physical condition. Long week for, for Newcastle. And I said, it's the challenge. That is not the perfect, but what it is. So, this is a competition. Is that okay? Go, go for it. Try to do it. It's the same. So, we are going to play this competition, thinking how nice we were, how nice it is to win. Okay, we have it. Yes, that belong to us. But okay, competition gives us a new challenge. Go for it. Try it. At least try it. And I'm not have any doubt. We're going to try. That means, like I said, just Madrid or maybe win a Rigo Saki, Saki period with a, you know, with a. With uh, with Milan, his exceptional Milan did it in a row. So the rest of the teams, I, I was incredibly proud to be manager of Barcelona team in that period. We won two times in four years the Champions League, but we didn't did it, win it in a row. So it's so difficult. But okay, just just try it. You know, be ourselves. And if we are able, okay. If we are not able to do it, like the previous six seasons together, qualify for the next season and try it again. Jamie? Hi, Pat. You started really well this season, you know, in the league, winning every game. Just speaking generally, so about this competition, but the whole season, how do you keep your message fresh for your players, or is it down to them? Are they sort of, you know, self motivated? I think I think belongs to them. I, I know the half time I should come to the players because they were angry. And I said to them, Why are you angry? So we are losing 1 0, but you're performing really well. So in normal circumstances, the Jets will be more clinical up front, will be 1-3. So and they were angry. It belongs to them, come from them. Of course, we push them as a manager, as a sign vote, but still I think they have an incredible mentality players that uh, never give up and say, let's go. I, I'm sometimes, then, then, I'm, I'm, I'm even a little bit surprised for the fact that after five I mean, six years after winning the travel I said okay we're going to start the season and I think make five to five shows the team is that that is really good it's really good so were you happy to sort of see that anger in a way because it shows yeah. how much they care otherwise if they don't come from inside from themselves so the manager can make a beautiful speeches go to TikTok recruit a lot of message inspirational speeches but <laughs> it doesn't work Come, everyone has to find himself to get him better and and improve every play, go with their own limits and and feel that otherwise it's difficult. We will have downs of the season, so we'll not be all the season, but starting that way. And important teams take some distances now. And but you know how strong is Arsenal? Yes, they saw the game against Wilson Park. Is they are exceptional and Liverpool again. The mentality is continue there. <laughs> Well, they don't start. They don't start in the. I think they expect like Chelsea, but always they are Man United. Always they are Chelsea. Sooner or later, they will take the rhythm. But it's important for us after win the travel five to five is really, really, really good, really good. Okay, we'll go to our colleague in Serbia. Uh, hello, welcome. Respect, Mr. Guardiola. Uh, I'm a journalist from Belgrade for Serbia for Sports Club, television and portal. Uh, I have two questions. First. Uh, d did you remember uh, your match for Barcelona in Belgrade 1996 with Red Star, if you remember? I remember Red Star. I remember when I was a young boy, Maradona, playing there. and make a, a goal like uh, was, I don't know, in English, when you keep the ball over yeah. the, the keeper. I remember that. I'm most fresh than 
Dein 96, where was that? Your match 1-1 in Belgrade. Yeah. <laughs> And what can you say no, about the play good. atmosphere on, the, on that match? Always is nice, yeah. I remember perfectly when last season when I was in Croatia or uh, the culture for ex Yugoslavia, now Croatia, Serbia or Montenegro or uh, this kind. These lovely countries always they have an incredible mentality, a uh, competitors. So all the Aspros before in water polo or uh, look now Djokovic or all the incredible athletes there, they have an incredible competitors. Uh, and competitors, I don't know why, but they have, I think for the, for the school, for the kids, they have something special. Thank you very much. And second question, what can you say about Red Star team? Uh, so aggressive in some moments, they don't defend man to man. Sometimes they have defend man to man, you have to be ready. And um, quick in the transitions, good runners, uh, typical system, the 5-3-2 when they attack or 5-2-3 with a lot of players in the final third. So yeah, you have to read, you have to be able to read well what they have to do tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, guys. Yep, thank you.